All right, guys, this is an exciting match here. Blue Hunter x Hunter versus Green Hunter x Hunter. One deck is re utilizing the Kilowas and the Gons, the Blue Hex Hunter x Hunter, whereas the other deck, the Green Hunter x Hunter, is utilizing the Kurapikas and the Raided Gons. It's going to be an exciting match here. I'm really excited for this. This was the round two at our locals. And uh, yeah, blue is actually very popular. Hunter x Hunter blue is very popular. Apparently, it's really strong. Apparently, it's not as strong as the Bomber, but I just don't see it. I don't see a lot of blue Hunter x Hunter in our locals at all. So I didn't get to play it at all. But I hear it's really, really strong. We'll see. I don't think anything is stronger than green Hunter x Hunter, but I could be wrong myself. I think green Hunter x Hunter is the meta. Let's see how this blue hunter x hunter does against it looks like green is going to go ahead and mulligan blue likes his hand looks like he's got a couple of nice starters not sure who's going first here i don't know if that will make a big difference for this matchup but uh yeah i think in union arena going first or second does change up the way you want to play the game sometimes i think going second allows you to be a little bit more aggressive also going first allows you to obviously build your board a little bit more and faster than your opponent but let's go ahead there we are hunter x hunter green starts with a perfect start there with the zeppi allowing him to draw on trash tough trash there sometimes it's really hard to trash especially if you have all your hunter licenses on in your hand or your removal in your hand it's very very hard to remove uh, cards but there you are, we toss out the Korapika, Zeppile is not on the board, blue. Hunter x Hunter is going to like to go second here. I think he gets the opportunity to play more cards down. He could literally potentially move those two zeros if he has more zeros in hand and just start attacking very early. So going second really does give you an advantage in my opinion. Let's see what our green Hunter x Hunter wants to do. Oh, uh, blue Hunter x Hunter is still trying to throw out uh, the cards. Looks like it's very tough for them. and <laughs> They're not used to um, drawing these cards. I'm very used to this with the purple Ichigo. You draw with the Ishida every single turn. You know exactly what you don't need. Maybe these guys are still uh, not completely practiced on it. We do see a Gone in the hand, but we need a lot more Dawn for the green deck. So that was a misplay right there. He's not allowed to play that gone because he doesn't have the energy for it. Also, that gone doesn't allow him to pick up his own gones. Uh, because he only looks for Kurapika. <laughs> Kilwa. Well, it doesn't matter really because he would have uh, played the Kurapika into the gone. So he would have had this two energy. But that was weird the way he played it. But also he misplayed again because... He, he's not allowed to pick up a Gone. He's only allowed to pick up Leorio, Kilowa, or Kurapika. And it's unfortunately, he, he keeps picking up his Gons. <laughs> it's very, very unfortunate. But no worries here. Let's see how our blue is going to respond. Uh, we do know that the right uh, left side, ha uh, the green guy, has a Raider ready. He has the Gons. And we played the strip of beach and that's it for us. Uh, tough turn here. I wish uh, we pushed a little bit. We had the potential to do two damage. Maybe we didn't have enough zeros on in hand to refuel our energy line. But we did have some potential to dish out a lot of damage. Put some pressure on. I think that's what second wants to do. He needs to start attacking a little bit early. Uh, I think as second you want to have a little bit more zeros in hand so you can replenish them. Because you want to attack with your first lineup of zeros. I think that's the strategy. And it gives you a lot of advantage. Now Kurapika is getting a nice board here. He had to get rid of his Zepile Because it's just hurting him so much. And there we are. We go to the Gone. Um, he does have 5 energy now. So he's going to need one more Neon. And he will be, be able to pull off his Kurapika. Is that a special that we just hit? No. I think that's Bisky's training. It's just a Bankai. It's just a 2 restanders. Nothing. All right, let's see how blue is going to respond to this. There is a 4k on board. There's potentially a Kurapi Cup coming in next turn. What are we going to do? Honestly, the best thing to do is just move up our zeros and try to remove that gone with anything with a special. Because if we play anything down, he's just going to snipe it. We kind of want to force him to play out the sniper without getting any value from us. Where he snipes one for our smaller guys rather than the bigger 4k's. 
Let's see what he wants to do here. Move up the big guy. The big gun. Move up the small gun as well. Okay, nice. We get some attacks in. Are we going to be able to do anything else here in movement? No, no more movement because we want to play the Kilo out. Kilo allows you to draw and trash. Isn't that when attacking? I'm pretty sure Kilo activates when attacking, so this might be a misplay here. It's unfortunate. A lot Our locals are really uh, misplaying a lot today, but it's okay, guys. The games are still very exciting. Brand new game, so of course we're going to see some mistakes. But let's see how, how badly that hurts us. Let's see if this is going to be a game-changing mistake. We do have still two action points, so we, we need to do a lot of work this turn. We need, we need to remove that gun, and we need to add maybe one more attacker on the board. So how are we going to do it? Okay, there we are. The Jaja removes the gun. That's amazing. Now we get two attacks on board with no defense. Can we build one more character here? Maybe on the energy line. Oh no, he moves up the Kilwa. This is going to be a little bit unfortunate. So now the Kurapika coming back with the sniper is going to feel really good. Also, if we hit a special here, it'll hurt us really bad because it'll kill up our Kilwa. So this is why maybe you don't want to aggress too early, too fast. Because now if he hits a special, we're completely done. Kilo is allowed to look up, uh, show cars if he has uh, enough cars. There we are. He should be able to draw and damage two, actually. There we are. He, did, he was supposed to damage two with that Kilowa. That would have been an insane Kilowa play to push him up forwards and to damage two after the Jaja uh, Kana. That was amazing. So there's the Neon. Now we know that he's going to pull up a Korapika. He gets another Korapika as well. So it's just so advantageous for him this turn. This is a huge turn for him, guys. And he gets to snipe as well. I know he has a 7 cost in hand. And he has the ability to go for it. Yep, there we are. We got the 7 cost. We got a sniper now and an impactor. We get rid of that Kilowa. Impact. Is we going to hit anything? No. Nope. Unfortunately not. We hit a gun. And then we are going to see... With the Kropika, obviously, he's playing his ability when played and then when attacking. And uh, we got nothing again. I wish, wish we maybe blocked that because our board is kind of useless now. It's not doing anything. It's not like we're going to get a couple extra attacks in. So a lot of misplays there from Blue. Blue was able to do a double damage turn because he had the four slots, specified slots in his hand and the board. But he just... He missed out on it. He only showed three, and I guess he didn't add the one on the field. Potentially that he misread the card. He was able to do a double damage and a draw. There's the Paladin. Unraids the Kurapika. That's a huge card. That's amazing. So Blue is actually able to deal with Kurapika really well because Unraids it. And Unraided Kurapikas are completely useless. They're absolutely nothing. Now we just need a Jaja. Remove the other Kurapika and we are safe. It's going to be very hard for him to pull up another Kurapika. Of course, if he does pull up another Kurapika, it's hugely advantageous to him. But it's still very hard. This blue deck is actually performing really well, in my opinion. There we are. We get our cards down. Unfortunately, not a lot of options oh no there we are that's what i was talking about he got his second Korapika. so now us unraiding doesn't help that much because he just hit his second Korapika. so actually he had the third Korapika in hand too never mind <laughs> so he has three Korapikas. so it's almost impossible for you to ever get rid of his Korapikas. just to give up on it and uh Gone is actually going to add the Kurapika into his hand because he can't, he's not a Neon. And then he's going to be able to potentially play the Kurapika and then also raid on the Gone, which is huge. Very, very big. Very, very big turn here. Blue, I don't think Blue can deal with this in any way. Blue needs the Jaja, needs another Paladin necklace. And even after that, he needs still more, <laughs> more movement. So this is the tough part about the green Hunter x Hunter deck. When it hits its triggers, it's almost unbeatable. Especially if we're not going to be hitting any triggers at all. Oh my god, not a single trigger. One add to hand trigger, that's it. Unfortunate for Blue there. We were hoping that he would hit his raids. But I don't think Blue actually has a lot of raiders. Blue only has one raider. 
and uh, I believe it's the Kilowa is the only Kai that they can raid on so it's unfortunate blue is just a little bit slower than other decks uh, in terms of raiding he just has to play his stuff all outright especially the biskies which are very expensive but still are really strong let's see here if blue has any strategy to come out potentially a jaja killing the Kurapika and then allowing him and maybe a, a, well he can't play the biscuit and the jaja anymore but he could still okay there's a, a paladin into a jaja here to remove the the gone potentially or the Kurapika because he has impact oh biscuit's training great can we, can we make this happen there we are jaja removes the Kurapika impact and one more car uh, i mean honestly at this point we just wow that's impressive that's a very impressive turn by our blue Hunter x Hunter. Oh my god. He's done really well. Unfortunately, the green Hunter x Hunter has one more Kurapika in hand. So it's going to be an impactor next turn. You are going to die unless you were able to push a lot of damage here. Let's see. We hit 15. There's the double damage. Uh, well, no double damage. Only draw two. Or sorry, draw one because he shows two. What are we going to do here? I think we attack with the gone and then we attack with the smaller guys. Because we don't want him to hit an active trigger. We are so close here. Oh my god. We needed one more attacker one turn earlier. If we hit that Kilua the right timing... We actually, if we hit the damage two on the Kilua when it was, when we had it, you would have had enough energy. Unfortunately here, we got the snipe and impacted us. Honestly, that blue deck was very strong. It just missed, it missed one damage two Kilua that potentially was all it needed to end the game. Interested in your opinions, guys. What do you think about the blue deck? Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time.